This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... I was saying that it, I don't, there's nine regional RPCs which are unelected and it seems like they are taking away the sovereignty of the town. And to make the, sure the viewers understand this, they received some big federal grant from HUD, I believe, from used HUD. it to fund this Granite State Future Endeavor, which is also sometimes referred to as NH Listen, so that's how complicated it is. And one thing about Granite State Future, I had a hard time finding anything about this meeting. I just came, you know, I do a lot of research. I'm quite an investigator. And I know about Agenda 21. And this sounds like, and it feels like Agenda 21 movement where you, you uh, consolidate all the people into one specific area. So they're all controlled by who owns the resources, who owns the water, who owns the food. Whoever controls the food and the water controls the people. And that's what I feel like this is. And I know Agenda 21 has that whole global reach for this. Yeah. So to have money given to New Hampshire to try to change, they present it as if we have a problem. And that... Well, we have a problem, and it's the people who funded this. Right. The, but I mean, the they federal grants. They present, yeah. they present New Hampshire listens as New Hampshire has problems that we need to solve. Mm. And I disagree with that. Well, it's a symptom of the problems, the right. way I look at it, because of the fact, again, the money is coming from the federal government, which took it by force from taxpayers. And also, that's an institution that tortures people. So how do I trust them? They're the source of this funding for this event. Even as nice as these folks are, they seem to be fairly transparent in a lot of ways. Now, I haven't received any real resistance here, but if it's coming from the federal government, it's going to stink. I think that they're trying to reach a consensus, although they did deny that, um, and bring, present those consensuses in some town hall format and then use their um, method, uh, Saul Alinsky, uh, Delphi technique, Delphi technique yeah. to isolate people that have um, a strong opinion opposing their opinion. And they lull you into some kind of um, feelings of warm and fuzzy with this, uh, oh, what are we going to do to help New Hampshire? How are we going to attract business? Everything they're trying to do costs money. Well, and the, and federal government, the federal government is the institution that is preventing all those things from happening. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I mean, Most we're a donor state. We donate money to the federal government through force, through theft, through taxation, and then they don't send it all back. I mean, they need to line their pockets or their lobbyists or whomever. So, I just, the first thing I have, a, the biggest problem I have about this is people aren't aware of it. I do think that we are responsible to make sure our state is um, maintained and taken care of, but when it's done, um, without letting people know. There's really no exposure about this Granite State feature that I am aware of. Not a ton. Not a ton. No. I mean, I, I found, um, I don't know, I was probably doing some research, independent research, which I do a lot of, and I came across Granite State Future and the Granite State Futures, the response. And so um, I did a lot of reading of their PDFs, and, and it seems like there are predetermined outcomes that are required to continue the grant money. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, sped, I'm strongly opposed to that because it's the federal government, once again, over, overreaching into our state. And the, As if they have all this extra money to spare. When they have so little money that they have they're, no giving, money. they're giving a $50,000 you know, $50, bill to every newborn. You know, debt. What are we, $17 trillion in debt? What, it, what is our deficit this so year? So how is this 3. not, how is this necessary? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. one year? 
This is not necessary. This is people trying to um, get paid for no, for for some unknown reason. I mean, yeah. for no, they, like, some, their like, own gain. It's like I said, they're playing at something. The feds are, and I'm not. I'm not sure even the folk, folks here today know what that is. I think that they are lulling us into believing, or trying, attempting to lull people into believing that it's all for the future and it's all good and it's all nothing to see here. And I don't know what their real agenda is besides Agenda 21. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Kat. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Egypt people is very nice. And if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here. Because we know that everything would fall apart. If the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending because the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking.com